Once you've set up your projects as a list and you've configured all your statuses and custom fields, let's explore views next. Views keep you organized and empower you to manage tasks, analyze data, collaborate with your team members, and make informed decisions effectively in real time. When you use views, you'll optimize your productivity, get enhanced visibility into your projects, and this will ultimately result in successful project outcomes. Before we begin with views, Let's talk about some best practices. Ask yourself, who needs access to this view for your project? If the answer is your team and you need a centralized place to work together, make it a public view for your team. Otherwise, if you want to make a view specific to yourself and track your work your own way, consider creating a private view for yourself and encourage your other team members to do the same. Also ask yourself, what are my project workflow requirements? To make the most of views, try to thoroughly understand your project goals and the complexity of the requirements of your workflow. And keep in mind what you need to see as you work through your projects. The last question to ask yourself is, how do you need to see your tasks? Depending on your answer, you can explore and experiment with different views to find the ones that work best for you in your workflow. Some popular views to consider when you're creating projects are list view, which is the default view to see a list of all your tasks. This is a great way to see your custom fields, especially dropdowns. Board view. This is a Kanban style view that lets you easily move tasks around and update them quickly on your board. Calendar view. This is a visual calendar where you plan, schedule, and delegate your work and see when work is due. And a brand new view is the dashboard view. Now you can quickly and easily create dashboards and view all your performance right where you work. Let's explore some of these common views, starting with list view next. 